Welcome back to the ranch. Today we're going to test two fairly lightweight 22 hollow points. Uh, the first one is easily recognizable, CCI Stingers. This is a classic 32 grains with a list velocity of 1640 out of a rifle. We'll see what we get out of the Walther P22 with its three and a half inch barrel. The second one is a little bit more exotic. It's the Aguila Super Maximum. 30 grain 22 hollow point list velocity on that one is 1700 feet per second that should actually be pretty interesting i'm going to start out with the aguilas because i just can't wait to see what they do i've tested the stingers before but i really want to see how these function out of the three and a half inch barrel let me see if i can brighten up that picture just a bit that might be adequate and getting about six feet away from the chronograph. Eleven fifty-eight. Eleven sixty-nine. Eleven twenty-eight. Eleven fifty-two. Duplicate, 1152. 1127. 1164. 1179. But I think eight is a pretty good sample size. Let's review that. High of 1179, low of 1127. So pretty consistent on that Aguila. With an average of 1153 feet per second, that is a super, super hot round. But again, it is only 30 grains. Next, we'll try the stingers. Delete that string. 11.04. What did I do wrong there? Oh man, did I get a bad stinger? That would be really weird. Oh no, just didn't pick up that particular round. Sometimes the slide on this thing doesn't want to quite pick up those rim, those rim fire bullets. 11.05. Miss. 11.18. Eleven twenty one, eleven eighty or a thousand eighty nine, eleven sixteen, a thousand ninety one, thousand eighty four, and not we pick, we caught nine of those, thousand eighty nine. Let's review that string. High of 1121, low of 1084, an average of 1101 feet per second. Not bad for the stingers. They're two grains heavier, so they're about as much slower as they are heavier. Let's see how they both perform in the gel, though. Well, if we get it passed through today, it should be immediately obvious because we have more or less a two foot long column of ballistic gel. I am gonna start off with, oh, forgive my voice. The tree pollen allergies are really getting to me out at the ranch this morning. But anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start off with the, uh, the Aguilas again, just like in the chronograph test. And just like last week, we will not use any clothing barrier because these 22 hollow points would presumably clog up and zip right through the gel if we did. I'm gonna get back the same distance as I did with the chronograph. Yeah, those, those Aguilas are kind of a smoky load. Wow, we got good expansion, not not great penetration, but wow, I want to show you this. Here's the entrance, 
And again, you can see that powder residue all sprayed out that we tend to get with a Gila. I'm not really sure why we don't see that with other brands typically, but look at that mushroomed bullet down in there. That is a pretty interesting effect, but that first child block is only eight inches long. And let's try that stinger. Same distance, about six feet back. I'm gonna have to put this one in a little under the Aguila. Yeah, that, that's right where I wanted it. And the stinger has done no better. Is the entrance hole over here. It's deeper in the gel, so the, the track is not as immediately apparent. But there is the bullet. Again, hugely mushroomed. Very similar to the Aguila. Maybe if I backlight them, you can, you can tell. Got to get them the same distance away from the camera. Boy, it almost looks like there's more damage been done by that Aguila, no matter which way I look at it. Very interesting. Here they are, end on. But neither one of them getting more than eight inches of penetration. All right, it's caliper time. Since I shot the Aguilas first, I think I'll take them out of the block first. Get that caliper on and zeroed. Should be able to get them from the end here. That's a pretty tough block. My mistake. Which one did I shoot? Which way did I shoot? No, that's the Aguila. <laughs> I forgot I flipped it upside down. The Aguila's under there, the Stinger's up there. I'm gonna dig the Stinger out first. And that is a very even mushroom. Diameter on that is about, about 37 caliber. So for a bullet that only penetrates to seven or eight inches, or sometimes 10 inches in previous testing, it gets pretty well expanded. Now for the Aguila, very even mushrooming on that. And just a bit smaller as it was just a bit deeper. 0.336. Both very nice. Both very nice rounds for a pistol. Plenty of expansion. But so far in my testing, I haven't seen anything that indicates the 22 hollow points are desirable for 22 auto pistols. Unless you've got a lot longer barrel. And that's not even always helpful. Sometimes you just wind up with a bigger mushroom and even shallower penetration. So there's your stinger and your Aguila Super Maximum. Stinger is flattening out a little bit bigger. It's got an extra two grains, just a shade slower. And the Aguila, just a shade more penetration. Probably have to shoot him a lot more than twice to get good averages for comparison's sake. But for our purposes, looking for adequate penetration, I think we can rule both of these rounds out. Thanks folks, this is Dave, broadcasting from the Discreet Defense Ranch on this lovely 39 degree cloudy spring day. Have another great week.